Hi everybody, it's Teresa, Cup of Tea Quilting. Uh, Kenny and I are, are working on our first video to show you how to use the Lazy Angle. For those of you that signed up, I'm gonna do a quick refresher video on the very first block. So our first block, we learned how to make this Lazy Angle block with a white as the A piece, the colored piece is the B piece. So this is the Lazy Angle ruler see it good enough it's kind of see-through but basically if you want to show them this right here you're gonna have two shapes you have an A and a B so every single block that is made with the lazy angle ruler is a square that starts from these two shapes the more advanced you get you will learn you're gonna recut these little squares into more B shapes so let me show you how to do that first. So your A shape, the first thing you're gonna do, that is the chart for the different size. You have to figure out what size block you want. So everything comes from a strip of fabric, six and a half inches, five and a half inches, four and a half, all the way down to one and a half. Why you'd wanna go that small, I don't know but these are four and a half inch strips. So you have a strip of fabric and you're going to cut, cut them. I'll show you on this side, but figure out what size block you want to have. And then that's the size strip. So if this is a six and a half inch strip, the very first thing is I'm going to cut some B shapes, which is this triangle shape right here. You can see it better when it fits like that. So that is the B shape. The A shape, let me do one on a darker fabric so you can see it good. You may have to come around to this side, Kenny. But the A shape on the ruler, when you look at the lines, you're gonna have a six and a half inch line right here. This is because my strip is six and a half inches. So the first shape I'm gonna cut is the A shape, which is like a trapezoid. So that is my A shape. This is my B shape that is going to be sewn on the other side. So it's gonna look like that. So the B shape, and there is a really good YouTube video on how to use this ruler, probably much better than me. But there was my strip. Can you see it good? There was my strip. I'm gonna cut the B shape, which is now this little triangle. The hard part about the second one of the B is we want to flip the ruler over so that we can get the next B shape. The nice thing about this ruler and how it works is there is no waste. So now I'm going to cut on the end and there's my second B. I'm going to flip it back to the front and I need four of these every block has four squares, unless you're doing a nine patch, then it will have nine squares. We'll get into that later. There's another B. I'm gonna flip my ruler over. And now you can have, and the newer rulers have markings on the back. My ruler is from like 2010 or something crazy like that. So it's an older ruler. But there's your four B shapes. So I would need four A's and four Bs. So I'm gonna show you over on this one because this is the finished block we're gonna do. And can you see here's the A shape, there's the trapezoid, and the B is a triangle. So once you have your four A's cut out, the way you're gonna line these up is you're gonna take the B, you are going to flip it over, and when you line it up, you wanna use these dog ears. You should have three dog ears. There's one right here, one right there, and one right there. And if you can try to kind of get them to be equal, and when you're sewing, if you look at this little valley right here, that's where I'm gonna start, and I'm gonna go all the way down, and I'm gonna end at that little valley. So, take it over to the sewing machine. just like Jenny Doan here. Having a quarter inch foot 
is very helpful. You're gonna sew this all the way through and there, and then I'm gonna chain piece and I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna line it up over here so you can see it. Kenny's doing a good job of helping me video. So there it is lined up. If you want to pin or put a little clip in there, you can do that. I'm lazy, I don't do that. All right, so now, and you can see I have blue tape on my machine. That's kind of my cheater to help me get my quarter inch straight. There we go. And I will do this two more times. Line it up, start at the little valley. My hands are in the way, let me know. I'm gonna grab that one. Okay, last one. There's my A, flip my B over. It's like spring, somebody's motorcycles out there. That's the Mustang. Well, that's a Mustang. I told you there was two out there. Okay, so here's my last one. So now when I finish this one, I'll take it off. I will take it to the iron. And I will iron these all. Probably to the bigger shape. It probably says in the directions. I'll have to look to see if it tells you which side to go. A lot of times, I skip this part ironing and I'll just use my finger. Let me just do that, it'll be faster. I'm gonna use my finger, finger press it down. That way, when I go to the next group, if it's not folded correctly, so there's my bottom two. There's my top. So it's going to look like that. So now all you do is piece it together this direction. So it really doesn't matter on this which way I would have ironed that. You want to line these up the best you can. nice thing about this ruler is there are so many different styles of star. They all kind of look like stars or a twist. And I'll show you some samples of quilts I have here in the shop that use this ruler. Okay, so there's my top and my bottom block. Next time I'll set it up with the iron next to me so then I can iron, but there we go. You can kind of get an idea. See that good? So the final block, I'm just gonna flip it over. And this is where if you don't iron it, you can have a lot more manipulation. So this is where I will clip it. I'm going to put these two together, clip it in the middle to hold those. And then I use my fingers and kind of scooch it over Sometimes it's helpful to use a scant quarter inch. But if you're pretty good and pretty consistent about keeping that quarter inch, either the tape or using your foot, that's going to help. And then at the bottom, I'll just pull those together. I'll kind of push the seams down with my finger. And then here's our first block. It's the called just called the lazy angle block. It's a it's just a two two part block. And here we go. So that's it. That's your first block. First month. 
and uh, let me know if you have any questions and hope you enjoy using the lazy angle ruler. Thanks. We'll catch you next time.